Hello everyone, this is Heather Wibbles. I'm a licensed massage therapist in Louisville, Kentucky. I wanted to take a few minutes today to give you a short self-lymphatic drainage massage routine that you can perform on yourself and this will drain the forearm and the upper arm into the armpit and then up into the main drains around the neck. The, hopefully this will help you out if you've been having some drainage issues or some swelling or lymph issues in one of your arms. Before you begin working on the actual arm and the armpit itself, which is where the main drains are for the arm, you will need to do the lymphatic drainage massage routine for the head and neck. The reason for you to do this is that all of the fluid in the body is going to come up and drain into the two main drains on either side of the neck. What you want to do to actually get the fluid moving is to create some space up here so everything is flowing in the main drains here on either side of the neck before you actually try to start move fluid up out of the arm. So just a quick recap, what you'll do to find your, um, the main drains, put your second finger on the inside of your collarbone, the clavicle bone, that little bump in there, move up just a little bit into the soft tissue, and once you're there, pump lightly, uh, you're going to use the weight of maybe a coin, uh, maybe a quarter, or a dime, a nickel, something very light, and you're going to pump on both sides. You'll pump lightly and pump about one time per second, maybe even a little bit slower than that. This will start the fluid moving as this is the place where all the fluid in the body is going to drain into. Do about 25 or 50 right here. Once you've done that, I'm not going to do all of them uh, just so we only have time for the, the, the specifics on the arm step today. So 25 or 50 here, then you're going to take your hands, kind of cup them, put them on the back of your neck and using the same slow light pressure, you're going to pull downward. So you're going to push in just a little bit and then pull downward and pump that fluid down. We'll do that 25 times, and then we're going to do work on the side of the neck. We'll do 25 of these. You're going to put your hand in the sort of live long and prosper um, position here on either side of the ears, and just pull down slightly. Make sure your hand is contacting the side of the neck too, because what we're trying to do here is pull the fluid down into the uh, main drains from the neck and get everything moving. So do 25 here. Go back and do another 25 here at the back of the neck. And then finish off by doing about 50 here in the original place where we started the venous angle on each, either side. Once you've completed that, you're ready to go ahead and start work on the arm itself. Now with the arm, the fluid's going to drain up into the armpit. So uh, the bulk of work we're going to do right now uh, for this session is we're going to go ahead and you're going to put your hand into your armpit so that your fingers contact the upper curve inside the armpit. Relax your arm if you can. You might want to prop it up on a pillow, something to hold it out to the side so it's a little bit elevated. And you're just going to pump lightly, a little bit deeper than what you would use on the neck. But you'll pump in here about 25, 50 times. Go ahead and do 50 because we're going to do more work a little bit further down on the arm. So light pressure here, about one pump per second. Not very hard, not very fast, just take your time. If you're having a lot of problems with edema in your arm, it would be good to elevate it, put it on some pillows, uh, do something so that the fluid doesn't have to work so much against gravity as you pump it into the main, uh, into the main drains out of the arm. So the main drain for the arm is going to be again in the armpit. You'll do about 50 pumps here. And I'm only going to show you this and one other point on the arm. The other point is going to be on the inside of the elbow. So uh, with your elbow, uh, with on the inside of the elbow, not the outside, but the inside. Again, it'll be a little bit easier if your hands uh, at an angle and or your arms at an angle, and you can pump upwards from the elbow. So light pressure, contact, and pull and pump just a little bit up from the forearm in this crease. This is the elbow crease, and I'm working right here in this area. I'm going to pull the fluid up from the hand. This drain uh, move right here will drain the forearm and the hands. Again, as I said before, if you do elevate your arm a little bit, it will make it easier and you won't have to fight against gravity so much. Do about 25 to 50 here. Once that's done, put your hand again in the armpit and pump here about 50 times. And then once you've completed that, go ahead and start back at the neck again. So 50 pumps here and then do 50 to 100 pumps here at the main drain. And that's what you need to do if you're trying to release the fluid out of the forearm, the arm, the hand, or the upper arm. That drain area is right here in the armpit. So enjoy. I hope this helps you with any problems you're having with edema or swelling in your arms. Thanks so much. This is Heather Wibbles at MassageByHeather.com.